Welcome to 1869 Farm. I wanted to come and come out this way and show you guys the fruit tree area. You know? All our fruit trees. So this whole area, this is the pear tree right here. Right? Doing well. Look at that, y'all. See, that's the pair we got from Home Depot. That's the pomegranate, one of my pomegranates. This is another mammoth sunflower I put in this area. You know, it's good for pollinators, you know. So, that's a huge one, right? Another huge mammoth sunflower is, I call this one Kevin. Oh, wow, look at this, right? It's so big. You know, this is one of the little stick flags, you know? Y'all know how long a little stick flag is, so uh, it's coming up way up here. I'm not sure why this one is so more than the other ones, but maybe it get better sun than others. That's another uh, pomegranate I grew from seed. Pomegranate I grew from seed. That's the banana plants back there that came up after the harsh winter. That's another mammoth sunflower over here. Look at that one, right? That's the orange or lemon tree. It suffered a lot of damage from winter. I cut it back. Another pomegranate. Uh, pomegranate. Pomegranate. This is the a lemon tree that I got from Home Depot, you know. And they got little lemon things coming on it. And these flowers are opening up, you know, all over the place, right? So... This is one of the ones I got from Home Depot as well. It's another pomegranate over there. Yeah. That's another mammoth sunflower. Look how massive this thing is, y'all. Right? That's the dancy tangerine orange uh calam calamondine, excuse me. You know, so it got a little fruit on it, and some of them been turned into orangish color. See this one, you know, these down here. Look at the flowers opening up there. I see this yeah. one. Almost. Don't pick it though, man. This one I wanted to jump and bounce back. This is the Dancy Tangerine. This one is doing so bad from the winter it got messed up right see that i had to cut it all the way back those at the top dead i still need to trim those pieces so i've been trying to get it to grow i put some blood on it some blood because you know the blood is for uh that nitrogen you know so that's for the leaves and the foliage try to see if it could bounce back and i put some blood meal on it i put some fertilizer on it so you know, this is the blackberry bush doing spectacular. We loaded with blackberries. We just waiting on them to get, you know, fully ripe, fully all the way black. But look at that, y'all. This thing is just loaded with the blackberries all around it. And that's why I let those blackberries grow like that. You know? 